Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Landon here and we are bringing you guys another update on the Asus ROG Swift PG32 UCDM. So for today's video, I want to give you guys an update on the HDR performance. Now, I said in the last video how, you know, it kind of could be a little bit brighter and Asus came out with an update for the firmware. Now I had not tested this yet because the video was already out. So I just mentioned that there was an update, but now I'm actually gonna test it. And I really do appreciate Asus actually making changes to this monitor, you know, for the consumer. That's really cool. And it kind of shows that they actually are trying to just make it better, you know, and try and fix some of the issues. Now, let's go over first what the firmware actually says so you guys have a good understanding of the changes that were made. Now, if you guys happen to enjoy my content, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and even drop a comment on something that you want me to cover with this monitor. Now, let's look at, let's read it right there. It says that this feature increases, increases brightness in the console HDR mode, achieving similar brightness performance to HDR 400 True Black mode. Now, that is really, really cool. Now, one thing that actually improved the overall HDR experience is when you actually come in here, and actually a user told me to do this, so I really appreciate you guys just giving me some like some tips if you have this monitor, you know, what to make it look even better. Now, I had not done this yet, but what you have to do when you're using HDR is obviously what you can go and you can turn HDR mode in Windows, but then there's a calibration right here you can do the hdr calibration mode now i'm not going to go through it because i've already done it but you can actually make it look a little bit better now it does look a little dim here but let's go into the settings really fast and let's show you the settings that i'm running at so obviously you can see hdr format and hdr settings so hdr format we have that on hdr 10 hdr settings we have it on console hdr now show you guys a picture side by side of HDR versus non HDR. Now I will say this firmware definitely did improve HDR. It really did. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that picture comparison. Now, every game is gonna be different. Now, this is HDR right now. Looks pretty good. Now let's go in and let's confirm HDR is actually on in the game because you're gonna get different performance from different games. Now HDR is on. Now, I would recommend doing, if this is your first time playing a game, do an HDR calibration inside of the game and make sure that it's like perfectly calibrated. So I already did this, but yeah, make sure uh, make sure it's perfectly calibrated. So right now we got HDR. Now this is what HDR looks like guys on Call of Duty. So make sure you guys can pause the video. I'll zoom in a little bit. Definitely improved with their update. That is really cool that uh, Asus did that. So yeah, HDR, it, it does look really good. I would say the big difference is in HDR mode, you don't have oversaturation like you do with non-HDR. So non-saturation, you get like the bright green and you know, all these colors kind of just like pop out where this is kind of more like realistic color. You know, it's not, it's not over the top. So that's going to end the video for today. Um, I just wanted to bring you a quick update and just give you an honest review since Asus has made a firmware update. Both look really good, honestly. They, they do. They did make an improvement with the brightness, which I feel like did make the HDR look even better. So thanks for stopping by. I'm just here to help. Go ahead and drop a comment if you guys want to see something else, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.